What's the link between humans and other animals? Why am I different from Danny here? Do you know, if we could compare my DNA with his, more than 98% of it would be identical, wouldn't it? Yeah. Do you think that means we're related? Are we related? The idea that species can develop and change has been causing arguments for over 200 years. I started off at London's Natural History Museum to find out what links me with a chimpanzee. Well, we've got here two skulls. Here is a, a modern chimpanzee and here's a, a modern human, like you or me. They're similar in terms of their overall structure because we've got here basically the same number of bones in each skull, we've got the same numbers of teeth, but of course looking at them we can see there are also differences. The brain of the chimpanzee is, is much smaller than the human brain. It's only about a quarter of the size of our brain. And if we look at the teeth, we can see these very large canine teeth which interlock with each other, as you can see there. Is there any evidence of some common ancestor? Well, yes, I mean, because of the similarities, we guess they certainly had uh, a common ancestor a long time in the past, and that they split and went their separate ways, and that's when these differences must have developed or accentuated. And we have got fossils now from about three million years ago. Three million, wow. And this is a, a fossil from a site called Stokefontein in South Africa. We've got the lower jaw of another fossil from South Africa from the same site, and we can see here that uh, Certainly at first glance that you'd say, well... He looks just like that, like a, like a chimpanzee. And, and certainly in terms of brain size, that's absolutely right. Um, but when we look at the teeth, we begin to see something a little bit different because you can see here that, in fact, the molar teeth are actually diverging from each other in a more human shape. And the front teeth are not as large as they are in the chimpanzee. And the canine teeth are not large and interlocking. So interesting evidence there of something which may seem ape-like but does have some differences, some, some really human features. So, three million years ago, human beings may have evolved from a creature like this. But such fossils are rare, and there are still lots of gaps in the family tree. The idea that humans and apes might have shared a common ancestor is still regarded as pretty dangerous stuff in some parts of the world. But who was this chap Charles Darwin, and how did he get the idea? And is it just a theory, or is it established fact?